let us now look at the next question question number 8 it says if root 2 is equal to 1.4142 then find the value of 2 root 2 plus 2 plus 1 upon 2 plus root 2 plus 1 upon root 2 minus 2 and there are four answer options here 1.4142 2.8284 28.2874 28.2874 and 14.142 so again we need to simplify this expression 2 root 2 plus root 2 plus 1 upon 2 plus root 2 plus 1 upon root 2 minus 2 and find out what will be the numerical value based on the given answer options okay now we have been given the value of root 2 right we all understand that root 2 is approximately 1.414 right or 1.4142 now there are multiple ways of answering such questions you can either start substituting the value of root 2 as 1.4142 in this expression and try to simplify it but that would make the calculation really complex and we end up wasting a lot of time so never substitute the value initially and simplify the question instead of that we'll have to first simplify the given expression and then substitute the value of root 2 if required now let's see how can we simplify the given expression here now 2 root 2 plus root 2 is already equal to 3 root 2 right 2 root 2 plus root 2 is equal to 3 root 2 so this will be equal to 3 root 2 plus now we have got two more terms 1 upon 2 plus root 2 plus 1 upon root 2 minus 2 and there are different ways of simplifying the last two terms either we can rationalize each of these terms or we can simply go ahead and take the LCM of these denominators to get the resultant fraction now what is the reason behind going ahead with uh, LCM of the denominators if we observe one of the denominators is 2 plus root 2 the other denominator is root 2 minus 2 or if you observe it is in the form of a plus b and a minus b root 2 plus 2 root 2 minus 2 so when we take the LCM what do we get root 2 plus 2 into root 2 minus 2 which will be in the form of a plus b into a minus b and can be simplified as a squared minus b squared and because of which the root 2 gets eliminated right root 2 the radical sign root there gets eliminated since we square uh, the term there right so either rationalize independently or simply take the LCM and do the calculation there let's go ahead and take the LCM of these two fractions so what do we get it is root 2 plus 2 to make it look simpler let us take it as root 2 plus 2 makes no difference 2 plus root 2 or root 2 plus 2 and this will become root 2 minus 2 now a plus b into a minus b that can be simplified as a square minus b square so what will come in the first numerator here root 2 plus 2 is getting multiplied by root 2 minus 2 plus root 2 minus 2 is getting multiplied by root 2 plus 2 so into 1 there root 2 plus 2 right now let's simplify this what happens minus 2 and plus 2 anyway gets eliminated so this will be equal to 3 root 2 that is the first term plus root 2 plus root 2 is equal to 2 root 2 divided by a plus b into a minus b it should be a squared minus b squared so root 2 squared is 2 minus 2 squared is 4 now 2 minus 4 is equal to minus 2 so this can be taken as 3 root 2 plus 2 root 2 by minus 2 so this 2 and 2 gets cancelled we are left with 3 root 2 minus root 2 3 root 2 minus root 2 which will be equal to 2 root 2 so if you look at it the expression here 2 root 2 plus root 2 plus 1 upon 2 plus root 2 plus 1 upon root 2 minus 2 has been simplified as 2 root 2 and now we can substitute the value of root 2 that is 1.4142 in this resultant answer to find out the required answer there so 2 into 1.4142 this will be equal to 2 into 1.4142 which comes out to be 2.8284 2.8284 is option b so the correct answer for the given question here is option b 2.8284 so this is how we can use the technique of rationalization or as we have seen in this case since the denominators in were in such a way that we get uh, the thirds eliminated automatically since they are in the form of a plus b into a minus b we need not go ahead with rationalization we can simply take the lcm and simplify right if this lcm is not possible if we are unable to eliminate the thirds uh, using lcm then we can rationalize the terms independently as we have seen in the previous question and find out the final answer before we move ahead and solve the next question let us also understand another interesting way of answering this question and that is the method of approximations if you have gone through the approximation video you would know a very important point that when the answers are not too close to each other when the answer options are not too close to each other we can try and approximate 
uh, calculation and see which can be the best possible answer. Right? In this case, if you look at the answer options, the first one is 1.4142, the second one is 2.8284, third one here is 28.284 and the fourth one is 14.142. So they are in the range of 1.4, 2.8, 28 and 14. Clearly the answers are far away from each other, right? The difference between the various answer options is huge enough for us to do an approximate calculation and arrive at the correct answer. So that is the reason we can try with an approximate calculation and see which can be the correct answer here. Had the answer options been too close to each other, then it would have been difficult. But since we have the liberty of going ahead with approximate calculation, let's try it out, right? We anyway have the tradition method or I should say not a very difficult one. That's a simple way of arriving at the answer. But let's see how approximation helps us in few of such questions. Clearly root 2 is equal to 1.4142. So we have been given the value of root 2. Now if you look at each of these terms of the given expression, the first term is 2 root 2, second term is root 2. 2 root 2 plus root 2 will be 3 root 2. Look at the third term, 1 upon 2 plus root 2, 1 by 2 plus root 2. 2 plus root 2 is definitely more than 1. 2 plus root 2, right? 2 plus root 2 is more than 1, which means the denominator is more than the numerator. If the denominator is more than the numerator, this fraction is going to be less than 1, right? 1 by approximately 3.4, 2 plus 1.4 is 3.4. So 1 by 3.4 that value is definitely going to be less than 1, right? So this particular term here will be less than 1, right? Lesser than 1. Look at the last term here, 1 by root 2 minus 2. 1 by root 2 minus 2. What is root 2? 1.414. Let's say 1.5, right? Root 2 approximately 1.5. 1.5 minus 2, minus 0.5. 1 by minus 0.5 or minus 1 by 0.5. Minus 1 by 0.5 is how much? Minus 2. Get the point, right? Minus 2. Approximately minus 2. In fact, a little uh, lesser than minus 2. Now, if you combine all the terms together, what is going to be the impact? 2 root 2 plus root 2 is 3 root 2. 3 root 2 plus something less than 1 or 1 by 3.5 if you take approximately 0.3. So, 3 root 2 plus 0.3. And this is going to be minus 2 approximately, right? Now try to add these terms 3 root 2, 3 into 1.5. We have taken 1.5. 3 into 1.5. How much is 3 into 1.5? 4.5. 4.5 plus this is going to be approximately 0.3, let's say 4.8. 4.8 minus this was calculated as minus 2. Yes or no? This came out to be minus 2. How did we get this as minus 2? We have taken root 2 as 1.5. 1.5 minus 2, minus 0.5. 1 upon minus 0.5. 0.5 is 1 by 2. So this becomes minus 2. This is equal to minus 2. So this is approximately minus 2. Likewise, this was less than 1, positive value, less than 1, approximately 0.3. How did we get 0.3? 1 by 2 plus 1.5. 1 by 2 plus 1.5 which is 1 by 3.5 1 by 3.5 can be taken as 0.3 approximately now if you try to do such an approximate calculation and club all the terms what do we get 3 root 2 3 into root 2 root 2 is 1.5 3 into 1.5 4.5 4.5 plus 0.3 4.8 4.8 minus 2 2.8 the answer has to be somewhere around 2.8 is it possible that the first option is the correct answer no 1.4 is far away from 2.8 ruled out Look at the third option, 28.284, no chance at all, eliminated. And the fourth option, 14.142, eliminated. So if you look at it, without doing any rationalization, without having any knowledge of uh, thirds and indices or the rules of thirds and indices as well, we can answer such questions. But then it may not be possible in every case, right? Here, because the options are, you know, far away from each other, as I've mentioned earlier, we are able to uh, do an approximate calculation and moreover we have got four numerical answer options let's say if the fourth option is none of these then it would be a little difficult and risky to go ahead with an approximate calculation so depending on various factors we can use approximation method and arrive at the correct answer so since we have got 2.8 we can say option b 2.8284 is the best possible answer hence option 2 is the correct answer so either go by the regular method, which again is not difficult, that's not really difficult, or follow approximations based on these conditions as I said and arrive at the right answer.